You know what the best basketball moment of the weekend was? No, what was it? It happened down at Michael Jordan's uh, camp in Santa Barbara, where this video went viral of this little kid absolutely draining shots from all over the place. Did you see it? Yeah, absolutely. Shot after shot, just burning down the gym. Unbelievable. Yeah, Mike's standing there. Everybody's watching. So during one of those one-on-one -on -one sessions that happens, normally at the end of the, you know, one of the little training camp sessions, Jordan's on the mic. The kid just never missed. Made us kind of think here at TMZ Hollywood Sports that we might have seen, you know, Michael Jordan's future star, because, of course, Michael Jordan runs the Charlotte Hornets uh, right there in the flesh. Yeah, man, 12, 13 years, we could see him as a shooting guard for the Hornets. Turns out there's actually more to that story than we thought, both about the kid and about the huge big name celebrity that's vouching for the young man. The little kid's name uh, is Sean Colazar. And the guy he plays for is a dude you might have heard of, Babcock. His name is Ray J. Wow. Ray J is going to join us right now at TMZ Hollywood Sports and tell us all about this young man and his exploits on the court. Ray J, what's up, bro? I'm always happy to be here. All right, man. So look. Like I said before, we thought this was just like a cute viral moment. We weren't so sure that this little kid was actually an assassin, man. Tell us the basketball nah, story the behind deal. this kid. Tell us what's up. He's beyond an assassin. He's the star of my team. I got a, I got a team called Knockout. It's an AAU team. We play all over the world. We're the number one team out here in our city. And he's the star of the team. And he scores like 40 points a game. And he's really short, but he, he can ball any tall player, any short player, any middle-sized player. He's like a Derrick Rose slash Kobe Bryant kind of player. What made you want to get involved in youth basketball? Like, how'd you get involved in this? His father, Sean Calasar Sr., got me involved in the AAU teams. And he told me that he wanted to put together a team and represent our company, Knockout. So I said, I'm cool. I funded the money. And um, after we just saw exactly what it was doing for all of the kids and getting them scholarships and giving them the chance to play all over the world and be a part of something special. The scholarships provide all of the AAU team members on my team to get to, to go to private schools. We can get our kids into the best schools and use our team and our money and, and our funds to, to, to give them scholarships as young kids to go to private schools. I think they can focus on what they love to do. Did Michael say anything to Sean, or did he say anything to you, Ray? I, it's just crazy to me to be able to do that, to shoot like that in front of the best player of all time. Yeah, well, I mean, he's a part of his camp, so of course he, you know, he spoke to him. And I think, I think what it, what, what comes down to in sports is that when you when you got pressure on you, when you got somebody like Michael Jordan looking at you shoot, most of the time you might miss your shots, or you might be a little nervous, so you might not be able to, to do what you love to do best. But he, man, he was calm, he was chill. He stepped up to the plate, he knocked down every shot, and I think that's what caught everybody's attention, and he was just focused, you know? Right. Focused. And if you're ever looking to start, like, a 35 and under knockout team, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hit me up, bro. I'm hooping, hey, bro. I'm out here, he man. can't shoot like Sean, yeah, hit man. Me up. Hit me up. I'm out here, bro. I don't know if they got the 35U team, but I'll try to figure <laughs> out what <where> they're <going. laughs>